hey 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 guys welcome back to the channel jenny here the uncrafty crafter i hope you're having an amazing day it is almost turkey day it is almost thanksgiving this is thanksgiving week and i got all my groceries yesterday i got them all put up and i'm ready to get things going so i will begin cooking probably tonight or early tomorrow. I have lots of cleaning to do as well before the family arrives. So let's get into a little bit of a whip and chat if you guys are feeling up to it. Are you feeling up to it? Are you, are you? Okay, I still have to cut this plastic. So we're gonna do a bit of a whip and chat this Tuesday morning. Um, hopefully I can get it uploaded soon. I hear Poppy coming down the hallway. There she be. She hears me talking and she thinks somebody's here. She's like, who are you talking to? I want to see who you're talking to. Um, so yes, first of all, let me know in the comments below how you're doing. I hope you're doing well. I hope you um, are uh, getting ready for your Thanksgiving festivities. And if you're not getting ready for Thanksgiving festivities, then I hope you're having an amazing normal week. So, um, hold on, let me get myself situated here. Let me, um, oh, well, first, I guess I better tell you what I'm working on. Ooh. So, did you catch the unboxing of Oraloa? My very first Oraloa kit arrived Saturday, and I got it unboxed and posted the unboxing video yesterday. And this, if you did miss it, make sure to go check it out. But this is what I'm working on. Yes, by Simon Treadwell from Oraloa, and it is called, I'm gonna mess this up. <laughs> Un Letre Pour Noel. Something like that, yeah. 65 by 65 centimeters. And... So far, I'm obsessed with it. So I have almost finished this first whole top row. Literally, I have this one section that we're getting ready to work on. I love everything about it so far. Square diamonds are excellent. The sticky is excellent. Um, the quality of the canvas is excellent. I just, I love it. Love, 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 love it. So, um, but let's get going. We're going to get going on this, this, and then I'll, let me show you real quick what we're using. We are using, um, same two pins that I've been using for the last several whip and chats. Um, same multi-placers, same tips, plastic in this one and in this one. Um, I'm using this pin for ABs at the moment with pink wax and then in my regular pen this comes they both come from enablers outpost did I say that um, this multi placer is from DAC and just a plain normal brass tip and I have um, the hot cocoa oh snap dots in the single placer and then in the multi placer I have the chunky oh snap dots in there and I just kind of cut a strip out and put it in the same baggie with the others um let's see what else what else what else I'm using my new um, tray from Gab's 3d on Etsy I love this tray it is my new favorite tray um, I'm obsessed with it and I'm gonna order a bunch more colors and he's got a super cute Santa Claus right now and a very, very cool dreidel. Um, 
trays. They're so cute. He's going to be linked in the description box below. But, you guys, I love my tray. A lot, a lot. All right. So, that's everything I'm using. Um, and then, of course, uh, Elizabeth Ward storage. All the pretty colors. So, that's what we're using in craft paper. This is uh, Crafts with Crashly. I always keep one on hand just to lay down to put my tray on or my wrist on when I'm diamond painting. Let me get, drink a coffee. This is my Joanna mug. Uh, I don't know if you can see that in the... Here, can you see it there? Thank you for being a friend. It's so sweet. I love this coffee mug. Mmm. That coffee is hot, hot. You can see the steam in the cup. All right, now I'm going to pick a color and then we will get to chitting chatting. Um, we're gonna start with this pretty little sagey green color, simple D. So, yes, I got a Thanksgiving Day groceries yesterday. I did the Walmart pickup. Yes, I did. Yes, 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 I did. Actually, I ordered it and then Dale picked it up because he had to go to town to do a few things himself anyway. So he just nabbed the order while he was in town and then he gets home. And then, of course, I have to put all the the groceries away, right? Um, I had to find somewhere to put all the groceries. Hmm. That was fun. Um, we have the ham and the turkey in the freezer, which we're going to have to start getting out soon so that they can start thawing out. Um, and then I have all of my like baking goods put away. Um, because, yeah, uh, the kids love to get into that kind of stuff. And I'm like, no, 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 no. Those things are going to stay hidden until it's time to use them or eat them. So, mm-hmm. I have a pumpkin pie in the fridge. I did not make it. I bought it. <laughs> Dale is literally the only one that eats the pumpkin pie, though. I'll say that. My brother will occasionally eat a piece, but Dale is usually the one that eats the pumpkin pie. And he's got to have the whole, like, uh, like an entire tub of Cool Whip um, for one piece of pie. Yeah. One piece of pie. An entire tub of Cool Whip. It's like, do you want some pie with your Cool Whip? So, um, yeah, I'm excited. And then Wednesday night, tomorrow night, um, it's our annual tradition that we've done for years and years, well, my entire life, basically. Um, the girls always get together the night before and start, like, cooking and baking and, and all of that. So, yeah, we will be... Getting together tomorrow night, my sister and uh, one or two of my nieces. Um, so that'll be a lot of fun. I'll let Miss Jolie May help me in the kitchen, do a little few odd and ends, cause she loves to help. She loves to help. Um, do all the things. She loves, loves, loves it. If she can be of assistance, she's ready. So, which makes me happy because I'm like, oh, yes. Yes, I love the help. Uh, whenever she sees that dishwasher door come open, she's like right there, ready to get all the dishes out for me. 
And then I put all the dishes away, obviously, because she can't reach everything. But she loves to hand me all the dishes. And she just thinks that she's doing big stuff. And she is. She's doing big stuff. So she loves to help me fill the dryer, the clothes dryer. Um, this release paper is super sticky. Or this is very sticky. And I have to be careful to not let that release paper get stuck stuck. Um, which might be an indicator that I need to get a new release paper because it might be time to switch out um, to a different one. But anyway, yeah, Jolie loves to help in the utility room too, in the, in the laundry room. She'll, um, you know, I'll get the clothes out of the washer and give them to her and then she'll put them in the dryer and then you know, she likes to help fold the laundry and put the laundry in piles. And yeah, she's just a big helper. She's very um, domesticated. Is that the right word? <laughs> I think that's the right word. If not, someone will let me know. Um, I think that's all of that symbol. Uh, so yeah, we're going to have a lot of fun. There is a, uh, I'm going to tell you here right now, this tray, the drills slide right out, okay? But these drills, not so much because they have lots of static. Someone left a comment, I don't remember who it was, left a comment on my Oraloa unboxing video yesterday that said that there was no static in their drills, but man, I had a lot of static in mine. Um, you can see, see that? How they're like hanging onto the side of the, yeah, I mean, they're, they're clinging in there, ugh. So, um, uh, let's see, where was I, what was I talking about? I don't remember now. Let's get this letter C. Um, I don't remember what I was talking about. What was I talking about, you guys? Before I started talking about the drill static. I don't remember. Um, so, you tell me, though, in the comments, which diamond paintings from DAC do you have your eyes on for Black Friday? These releases are coming out boom, bang, fast lightning in a hurry, right? They're like flooding like every it feels like every two seconds I'm getting a notification on Instagram from Diamond Art Club with a new one and I'm like oh my god I've eyeballed a couple so far but I will probably purchase 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 um I'm really really Loving that one Hannah Lynn, the um, Autumn Stroll, I think. Oh my God, I love her. And I like it because, one of the reasons why I like it is because this Hannah Lynn girl is a little bit different than her usual. Because she's got short hair and it's like in a bob that flips out on the ends, you know. And it's cute. It's, she's super cute. I really like her. And the colors are so fun. Um, I did see a couple of Mandy Manzano's. But I think the only ones that I've seen so far are one with a white dog called Welcome Home or something. And then the other one is of a bird. Um... All birds go to heaven or something like that. I can't, I may be wrong on the name. But yeah, um, it's a meh for me on those. Um, 
but I was really hoping for um, a Mandy to pop out that I would love, love, love and have to have to have because I miss Mandy Manzano's from DAC. I really do. Anybody else? The last Mandy Manzano that I purchased from DAC was, um, well, that I purchased from DAC is the only place I've ever purchased a Mandy Manzano, but um, I think that's the only place where you can find them legally, right? Um, I don't remember what the name of it was, but it was a long time ago. And I don't even think I've unboxed that one on the channel. That one may have been a Black Friday from last year. Holy cow. Yes, I do have Black Friday kits from last year that I have not purchased. <laughs> or, I mean, that I purchased that I have not unboxed. One of these days, I'll get, a, I'll get them out. One of these days. I'm super duper enjoying this kit though. Super duper. I did finish my nativity um, from DAC by Mac McMill Studios, I think is the name of the, where it came from, or the artist or studio or whatever. Um, but, yes, um, I will show you guys soon in an upcoming post review of it. Let me just say that I was so happy to be done with that kit because of all the brown, all the brown. And I was like, let me do this kit for more Loa next because it's so colorful and fun and blah, blah, blah. And wouldn't you know that the very first section I did was mostly brown? I was like, no, 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 no. But I powered through it and now I'm getting over into the moon sky. Um, so, yeah. It's nice to diamond paint other colors other than brown. I never knew there were so many shades of brown. And let me ask you guys this. I need more information on this. I was listening to Kara from Karen, uh, not Karen, Kara, Principal Diamond Painter Kara. Um... In her live stream yesterday, I think I've used, I think I don't see any more of that C symbol. Um, and she was saying something about Diamond Art Club. Yeah, I've got to go get another release paper because it's starting to like shred here on the end. Um, Something she was saying, something about DAC is coming out with is going to or already has started coming out with their some of their own. Oh, there's a C with some of their own colors outside of the DMC. Have you heard? Have you guys heard that? Where have I been? Where has this information been? I did not know this. I thought that that was very cool information. So um, oh, it wasn't in Kara's live. It was in Brandy's Mystery of Diamonds live last night that they had with Randall Spangler. That's where it was at. So, yeah, I, I need more information on that. That sounds very cool. Okay, I'm going to do, what I'm going to do is lay this plastic back down right here so that um, I don't get myself in a world of trouble. And then I'm going to work on this R symbol, which is R. This 
Dark Blue 791 DMC. You can see static. They're clinging to the inside of the. Ugh. It's not been bad enough that I need to, like, do something with it. But Grace from Gracie's Diamond World um, has a trick. And so her trick is, and this works especially well when you're kidding up and there's static in the bags. But her trick is to, like, see. You can see there's, like... They're not really bad right now, but there's some, like, hanging out here on this wall on the inside there. But if you breathe, like, hot air into the bag or your container, like, like, kind of... <sighs> so that it steams it up a little bit. And then shake it about. Watch this not work. No, they're still there. <laughs> but I promise it works in the bags, especially. Maybe it don't work in these containers as well. But in the bags, it works. Try it. Try it, try it. It's true. It works, like, really, really good. Um, but, yeah, the whole DMC thing. I'm like, what? Or colors outside of the DMC. That's really cool. Uh, because the point of that, you know, would be that we have even more colors to um, be truer to the original artwork, you know. So, yeah, I think it's really cool. But I had not heard about that till till last night. So I was like, say what? Ay, ay, ay. Uh, trying to find a place because I've got ours here. And then there's a number two in between that's kind of like, um, this was has been, I don't know if I already mentioned this, but super heavy confetti. Um, up until I got here where this moon is. And then, of course, the moon is like literally all color blocking. Um, but yeah, this so up all the way from the far right corner all the way over. Sorry, I didn't mean to shake you. Has been super heavy confetti, so... Which I enjoy. I like confetti. But man, that took me a while to finish one section. I was like, daggone. That's a lot of confetti, man. Um. So, yeah. I only open. I mean, let's see. Saturday night. Is that when I? Yeah. So I kitted this up Saturday night. Today is Tuesday. So I've it's taken me that long to finish almost an entire row. So that ought to tell you how heavily confetti it is. <sighs> so um let's see. On Wednesday night my sister, Mickey, she usually makes the um, dressing or, yeah, we don't do stuffing because we don't actually stuff the turkey. So I guess you would call it dressing. I don't know. I don't really know what the difference is between dressing and stuffing, to be honest. I think it isn't it the same thing? People just call it different things and they stuff the turkey. If, if they stuff the turkey, they call it stuffing. I think we call it dressing. And, and she makes the cornbread dressing. Um, and she usually makes a sweet potato casserole. 
She makes a big pot of green beans. Oh, yum, 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 yum. And she makes a few desserts. Um, and then my niece, Shelby, usually comes up and makes um, something that we do every year is a um, seven-layer salad. I love that stuff. It's so yum, yum. Um, but I hate making it. There's just so many, like I gotta cut up all the tomatoes and cut up all the this and all of that and fry the bacon and chop the bacon up and the eggs, boil the eggs and put, you know, crack the eggs and there's just a lot of steps to it, right? And uh, so Shelby, my niece, she usually comes up and makes it for me. Um, so, we'll see if she does this year. She didn't get to come up last year. So, last year I made the seven-layer salad and I was like, Ugh. But, um, it tastes so good. And then, uh, Dale works. Um, he's still on second shift, Ooh. but he works Wednesday night, so he won't get home until Thursday morning, probably around 2, 3 in the morning, and he's the one that will be making the turkey and the ham, so he will get very minimal sleep, and, uh, yeah. So that ought to be fun. He's going to love that. Uh, that this will be his first year working second shift during Thanksgiving. So I don't know how, how that's going to go. Um, Because I think the turkey is like a 20 pound or 22 pound. Turkey and then the ham is usually like the biggest ham we can find. Um, because we always have so many people here for Thanksgiving and you know, it takes a lot of food to feed these hangry people. But um so yes, lots of stuff coming up and I'm excited. And then Thursday night. I'm excited to share this with you guys. So Thursday night, I'll be doing my normal Thursday night live. However, we're doing something a little special, special, okay? So we're going to have a talent show. There are a few people who will be uh, coming in and out of the live stream on Thursday night and will be gracing us with their presence and with their fun, cool, kooky, awesome talents, right? So we are going to have a lot of fun while we count down to midnight Eastern time. And that's something else that's like so wonky, right? Because usually DAC does their Black Friday drops at 3 a.m. Eastern, midnight Pacific. But this year, it looks like they're doing it three hours earlier than they normally do for Diamond members. So, um, we're going to try to stay afloat and get everybody up and scooted over that way. Um, so, yeah, we're, we're hoping to get, to get everybody... Um, keep everybody awake and ready to... Hit those uh, DAC deals. And then you'll have to come back over to the live stream and let us know uh, if you scored what you were looking for or hoping for. Because I plan on staying live a little bit past midnight. Um, that way everybody can run out, go get their goods, and then come back and let us know if you got your stuffs or what all you did get. So that'll be fun. 
Um, but yeah, if you have any weird, fun, kooky talents that you would love to share with the crowd, let us know. We would love to have you join us and share your fun talents with us. I think it'll be a lot of fun. Um, see what all we can get into. <laughs> I hear Poppy down here. Poppy is, where is she? I hear Miss Popsters. It sounds like she's in there snoring. Can you hear her? I can hear a little bit. I think she's in there on the couch, curled up under a blanket. Um, so that's the plan for Thursday night. And uh, I'll have my own Black Friday deals going on for the shop. So stay tuned for that. And um, yeah, I'm super excited. And I hope you guys are too. Um, let me grab another drink of coffee. I have to keep an eye on the time because Eli Shmila will be getting home pretty soon. I'm a last minute looker though on the for DAC, I always get like overwhelmed when they're like popping the kits out left and right. And so I tend to wait until they've like shared everything and then I'll go and have a look all at one time. I mean, I'll catch, you know, what's coming out um, randomly but not everything. Um, and so after they say, okay, this is the last kit that's gonna be releasing, then I'm like, okay, now, now I'm gonna go and I'm gonna make my list and then chop down my list because we all know how we do, right? If you're the same way as me, I make a list like 10 miles long and then go back through and like uh, see which ones make the cut. And then hope that I can snag those before they sell out. That's usually my game plan. Um, Poppy, what are you doing? Let me see what she's doing. Oh my Lord, you guys, this crazy dog. I thought I could hear her. And then I was like, what is she? And then I kept hearing something else, like a noise. And I'm like, what is that? And I go in there and look and she is on the couch in a laundry basket that I have on the couch with clean clothes in it that I haven't put away yet. And she's in there doing this, digging and Sticking her head under, trying to get under the clean clothes in the laundry basket. <sighs> She's like a cat. She's worse than a cat. <sighs> okay, let me get another drink of coffee. I have to be careful with that. That coffee is still hot, hot. In that ther thermal cup. Cup, 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 cup. It's hot, hot, hot. But now I forgot what I was talking about. I think I was talking about getting cart snatched or something or having a game plan. I don't remember. Um, something else I'm looking forward to. Oh my gosh. I got a notification yesterday that my winter advent from Swartz Designs uh, has been shipped. Oh my God. 
and it says it's supposed to arrive, uh, what did it say? Sunday? I can't remember. I'm like, oh, Morgul. I can't wait to get it and open it and get into it and show you guys everything. Oh, my God. I can't wait. I don't know how I want to do it, though. I don't know how I want to unbox it. I don't know if I want to, like, unbox it all at one time in a video or if I want to, um, like... do the actual advent like one day at a time like you should um and like film a snippet with each day that I open and then like combine the whole video together into one video and then share it at the end of the however many days you know I don't know how to do it you guys tell me what you think I should do I'll let you help me decide. I'm really bad at making decisions. Decisions, decisions. Uh, but yeah, I'm really excited to get into it and see. I know Abigail has worked so hard on this advent and she is so good at it. Um, she's really creative and, and uh putting those things together. She does a really good job, so um, I'm anxious to get it and see. I'm anxious to see the diamond painting, what she chose, um, and of course to see all the little fun goodies that she picked to go with it. Oh. All right, I think that's all of the number two. So, um, oh, something else you guys can look forward to. Um, I um, was working or picking up or kind of organizing some things in the bedroom, in my bedroom yesterday. And I came across a frame that I had purchased on Amazon um, to put a canvas in. Hold on, another drink of coffee. I'm thirsty. Maybe I need to drink my water because this is too hot to drink drink right now. Mm. Yeah, that's hot, 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 hot. Still, good cup, Joanna. That's a good working cup. All right, let me do this letter K. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be doing a framing video and uploading that maybe tomorrow if I get it filmed today. So, um, that'll be fun. Um, and I'm excited to frame this particular canvas so I'm not gonna tell you what it is you'll have to wait and see um but yeah I'm excited there are lots of canvases that I want to frame and I just have not done it yet because it's a pain in the butt you guys know it is it's not easy peasy unless you want to do the magnetic frames with the bars at the top and the bottom if you like those, you know, some people love those. I'm not going to lie. They're not my jam. Um, I don't mind them for some canvases, but the ones that I really want to frame, um, I want an actual frame. So, um, on to the next. There wasn't that many of that color. Um, and framing is hard whenever you want to do an actual frame. See how easy those all came out? That one didn't have static in it. Um, in. So, 
yeah, when you have a canvas that you want to frame, it has to fit just perfectly in the frame. Um, and sometimes the frame is either going to be too big or too small, and then you have to cut some out of the diamond painting, or you have to make a mat or, you know, special order stuff. Uh, some people are really good at finding, like, old frames at, like, resale shops and um, using those. And that's a cool thing. I just don't want to buy a bunch of frames. I don't have anywhere to store that kind of stuff. They would get broken and filthy, like, in a, the garage. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. Um, but I have framed a couple of my Pinson, my Chuck Pinsons, and, um, they look really good. Really, really good. Um, the one, the first one I framed was Inspiration of Spring Meadows. And I had to cut quite a bit off of the sides and the top and bottom, maybe, to get it to fit in the frame. Now, keep in mind, I didn't cut off anything that, um, uh, how do I want to say it? it? There wasn't anything that I cut off that was like really a part of the image so to speak I mean what I cut off was like a little bit from the sides and the top and so it was like a little bit of the sky just the tippy top of the sky there was still plenty sky left I cut off a couple rows of like flower not row rows but like a line of beads you know drills hey sorry guys I'm back you didn't even know I was gone did you Dale got up and came through the house to make him some coffee. So, I just cut the camera off for a few minutes because, you know, the normal, how did you sleep, babe? How did you sleep? I slept good. I didn't sleep good. Da -da 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 -da. Normal, you know, morning chit-chat. But, uh, and I have a timer set for about 15-ish minutes. Um, so that I can start watching for Eli to get to, off of the bus. And, uh, so, yeah, I'll have to be done when the timer goes off. Um, but anyway, where I was at when we were, uh, interrupted, um, was, I was talking about the Chuck Pinson and how much I had cut off. So I had cut off, like I said, a little bit of the sky at the top, not enough to even notice. The same with the sides, because it was just flower and greenery on the sides, just a little bitty bit on each side, and then a little bit at the bottom, which was like stream, water, rock. Um, so there, you, there wasn't even any, you know, if there would have been anything important, um, then I wouldn't have cut it off, obviously, right? I'm not going to do that. So, but it worked out perfectly. And uh, I was excited with how it turned out whenever it was done, framed and hanging up and all of that. And then the next one that I framed was Chuck Pinson's um, Bluebird song. I love that image. So... I had to frame that one. And the frame that I bought for that one fit perfectly. I didn't have to cut anything off of that canvas. Um, so, the one that I'm going to frame and share this week, uh, I don't think I have to cut it. Well, no, wait, wait, wait. I think I do have to cut a teensy bit off. But nothing of importance. It's just background that's not mass major it's just a couple little uh rows of diamonds uh so yeah 
I'm, I'm excited about framing that one. And um, I'll show you that process. It should be easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Um, but like I said, I have a lot more I would love to frame. It's just finding the frames. And then I'm a procrastinator, you know, I'm a really bad procrastinator. So that doesn't help matters much. Speaking of procrastinating, today I have to get busy because I've got a lot of laundry to do. I have a lot of um, just normal house pickup and cleaning and organizing a few little things to do before family shows up on Thursday. So, yeah. It's gonna be a lot of fun, a lot of fun. It's the kickoff to the holidays. Happy holidays. So, I uh, have not watched any Hallmark yet. I usually, well, okay, so I first, when Hallmark Christmas movies became a thing, I was obsessed. Like, I watched every single one of them. And I haven't watched any, I mean, I think I'd start them and then I would doze off or something like that last year. But, uh, we'll see how it goes. I would love to take, like, one weekend, just one weekend, and stay lazy all weekend long and do nothing but drink hot coffee and watch sickening love romance Hallmark movies. They're all, you know, we all have said this a million times. That it's all the same storyline. Every single... Christmas Hallmark movie is the exact same thing. It's just a different person, a different name, a different occupation, a different cute little city. And, yeah. But it's all the same premise, right? Same thing, different day. Different name, different town. Different occupation. Yeah. <sighs> I would love to watch Elf this year. I didn't watch Elf last year. It's the only movie with Will Ferrell in it that I actually like. I'm not a Will Ferrell fan. Not at all. Nope, nope, nope. But I love Elf. I love it so much. All right, done with this one. Let's see. Which color is next? I um, am super excited about this talent show that we're going to have Thursday night. I'm really excited. Um, I think we're going to have a good little lineup of entertainers. So, yes, 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 yes. It's going to be so much fun. And like I said... Like I said, if you have a weird, fun, kooky, cool, awesome talent, um, anything. I mean, like, I, I, and when I say kooky or fun, I mean literally kooky, like weird, like something that Whenever you have family get-togethers or you get together with your friends, your friends or your family is like, hey, you have to show Uncle Dave how you do that weird thing, blah, blah, blah. You know, that's what I, I want is the weird, funny things or the cool, awesome things, you know, Things that we don't know about you. Now, let's let's keep in mind, keep in mind, keep in mind, these have to be family-friendly talents. 
no, um, no mm, dirty bird talents, okay? Okay, please. No dirty bird talents. Just fun kooky bird that's clean. Please. I mean, don't get me wrong. I don't have nothing against people with cool, weird, non-family friendly talents, but also, you know, no. Please no. Not for this live stream, please. <laughs> I'm thinking here of like uh, uh, you guys. I don't know. I've got a few ideas of people in my head who would do some some pretty wonky, talented things. You know, in my head, I'm thinking, but nah, 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 nah. nah. Okay. Oh, there's another one. Every time I think I got, don't see any more, I find another one. Dell is outside. Um, and he has Instagram going. I can hear him playing reel after reel after reel. And he cracks me up. Instagram reels makes his life complete. If these don't chill out soon, I'm going to have to put some dryer sheets in there. And I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. Okay. My timer's going to be going off here pretty soon. So I better be wrapping this up. Mm -hmm. So as I wrap this up, let me go ahead and start wrapping it up now. Because if I get on another subject, I'll just keep going. Yum, 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 yum. So, come and see us on Thursday night, okay? We would love to see you um, and hang out with you while we, you know, count down and wait till the, till the Black Friday sale drop. So, but anyway, please let me know all the things in the comments. I'd love to hear from you guys. Just please know that even if, I don't reply to all the comments. Please know I've read them. I've read, I read every single comment and I love, love, love you guys for leaving them. I'll get better at uh, replying to the comments. It's something I'm working on. So anyway, you guys have a fabulous rest of your day. I'm going to go get the kiddo off the bus and get busy and uh, please make sure to give the video a big thumbs up before you skedaddle out the door. If you're new here, I would love for you to subscribe and hit that little notification bell, ding, 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 to get notified the next time I go live, Thursday nights, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, or upload a new video, all right? You guys have an amazing rest of your day and your week. Have lots of turkey, and we'll see you Thursday night. Bye.